Welcome to Gadget First. Today we're just taking a quick look at Cy Cyanogen Mod 7 for the Motorola Milestone 2. So you're probably wondering what does this uh, ROM do for the Milestone 2. Basically it completely strips the phone of anything to do with Moto Blur, which we weren't too fond of Moto Blur. It suited phones that were quite cheap, like uh, the Flip Out, as they're aimed at a more teenage generation like us, who are mainly based on Facebook and social network sites, but, you know, for a high-end handset like this or the Atrix, it really doesn't suit it because it's a bit gimmicky, really, and quite ugly looking and not smooth. Uh, so basically it strips the handset of anything to do with Cyanogen Mod, uh, sorry, uh, Moto Blur. Uh, so, basically, you boot into it and you're greeted with ADW Launcher, uh, it's really smooth, as you can see, very smooth, uh, the app drawer is very smooth as well, I've got mine on the vertical page setting at the moment, which I find nice. Everything is really quick on this phone now, uh, before it was a bit sluggish on Froyo, but now it's running 2.35, so I'll just show you this, if I just go into about phone, onto, there it is. Android version 2.35 and so that's really good uh, so what else does this phone give you? It's uh, optimization mainly for example there was a lot of touchscreen problems on the stock ROM such as it wasn't true multi-touch it was only dual touch which is a bit crappy um, any more it couldn't handle any more than two touches simultaneously so, you know, that's a bit stupid. Um, but now, you can have up to four, I think, which is nice. Also brings battery optimization. For example, uh, it changes the Wi-Fi scan uh, options, settings, sorry, which makes the battery last a little bit longer. Uh, mine's been lasting about a day with quite heavy usage, like checking for emails every 15 minutes, all that. So that's pretty nice. Uh, you get all the 2.3 uh, goodies. So if I go on to my app here, oh sorry, uh, my let's go on to my contacts app. Uh, where is it? There it is. Um, really smooth scrolling, and um, basically 2.3 brings that nice glow. So when you know when you've reached the top of a list or something because it does a nice glow. So on Cyanogen Mod you also get all the great settings that Cyanogen Mod brings. If I go into settings here, on to Cyanogen Mod settings. Uh, interface is my personal favourite because you can change all this, the amount that it bounces up when you reach the top of a list, the colour. If I go on to over scroll colour, custom colour, I can change it to a nice red. There you go. Now it's red. It's pretty simple. I keep it on default colour though, because, well, it works with everything. There you go. Um, the overscroll weight, extra heavy, is extra horrible. As you can see, it's really exaggerated. But, you know, if that's, your, if that's what you're into, fair play. I used to have an extra light, it's just a little bounce. It's nice. Um, yeah, you can change the LED notifications. Here, look. You can say, I want when I get a text message, I want the LED to be blue, for instance. Um, performance tweaks, of course. It's your own risk if you screw up your phone. But you can change the CPU governor settings. There you go, you've got quite a few there. you got power saving, smart ass interactive, conservative, on-demand, user space and performance. Uh, you can see I'm running at 1.2 gigahertz and a minimum of 300 megahertz. This phone does overclock quite well. I uh, can usually get up to about 2.1.25 uh, which is usually the maximum it will go to. So yeah, Cyanogen mod on the Milestone 2. We'll have more updates on this, mod on this uh, ROM when they're available. Thanks for watching.